Okay, we're going to take a quick look at Canterbury Race 7 on Wednesday. Uh, last race on the card, 1,250 metre benchmark 72. Um, we've got two here that we're interested in. Uh, we can back with a decent degree of confidence for a result across the race. Um, the top rated is Capital Heart. Got that rated at 3.20 and Mikhail, which we've got rated at 5.0. Um, currently with bookmakers. Um, Wing Chat also comes out of this race. Um, not shown as being out of the race in the race field, but wind chat is out. Um, uh, Capital Heart currently 4.5, 1.9. As I said, top rated 3.2. And the 13, Mikhail, uh, 7.0, 2.5. Got it rated 5.0. So both these are overs. We can back both of them for a result across the race. Maybe two units on Capital Heart, one unit on Mikhail. Um, let's go take a look at them. Okay, as I said, 1,250 metre benchmark 72. Likely to be run at a solid tempo. Um, if we go down to, we'll start off with Capital Heart. Overly well bred for speed by Capitalists out of the Testa Rossa Mare Ross Largo. Uh, importantly, a September foal, so nearly turning three now. Um, two weeks off, uh, officially. Um, Zach Lloyd up with 54.5 kilos. Not too badly weighted considering. Uh, has form around introducing as a two-year-old, finished 0.4 of a length second to introducing, then also 0.7 of a length second to the smart soldier of Rome with Storm the Ramparts back in third. Um, pretty good form references. Uh, trial well leading into this preparation, second to Platinum Jubilee, suggesting potential stakes class on the make. Last start, only just got run down by Stanislaus, um, smart type at Gosford, over 1,100 metres when trying to make all first up, second up from a spell. Goes to 1,250 metres now, draws barrier one, can find a good trip on the front end, uh, can stalk or lead with equal effect, doesn't necessarily need to lead. Um, looks a major elect. Potential stakes quality sprinter on the make. So taking on older horses here at midweek level, I'm just got a feeling it might be a little bit too good for them. Uh, and the second one that we're interested in is Mikhail, the one from one winner by shooting to win out of Zars Jewel. Um, overly well bred. I'll get into the breeding of this one in a second. Hinted at good ability for the Chris Wallyard prior to debut, running second to Luna Field. Steffi Magnetica back in third. That trial form has since been franked. Then ran third in a trial behind Lady of Poison, Caballus. Caballus has come out and franked the form well. One on debut coming from last over this track and distance. Knock off Star Act and Bo-Katan back in July. Given a soft trial sixth behind Osmosis and Tannerhauser since then. Very strong trial. Um, will come on significantly for that trial. 1,250 metres first up with natural scope for improvement off that debut win. Suits, Brett Preble up 55 kg. Draws barrier 10 We'll go back and stalk a solid front end. Um, she'll get every chance to run home. And if Capital Heart cops her top, a tough trip on the front end, it'll be Mikhail that'll be flashing late and likely to run it down. Um, so race seven at Canterbury, the two that we want to be backing, 14 Capital Heart, top rate at 3.20. You can get 4.5. Second top rate of Mikhail at seven, uh, it's currently 7.0, 2.5. Got it rated $5. We just go and take a look at the breeding of um, Mikhail quickly. Uh, the dam, this one, Zars Jewel, she was a good producer herself. She's got two stakes winners of five stakes races, um, including the Smart Ninth Legion, which won the Villiers at Group Two level, and also Zarista, which won the Queensland Guineas at Group Two level. Uh, so plenty to like about the breeding, especially in the bottom half of the pedigree. Um, to suggest that Mikhail is well suited here. Capital Heart has won stakes winner through the second dam, Tremezzo. Um, so it's pretty well bred as well, especially being by capitalist on the top side of the pedigree, um, injecting a lot of speed. But they're the two that we want to be backing in Canterbury Race 7. Uh, one of the two should be winning. Thanks.